Hello, and welcome to 31 Notes, the series where I talk about cool sounds that happen when you have 31 notes. So today we're going to be talking about Mothra 6. Uh, This is a six note scale, a hexatonic scale, and it's created by stacking the super major second. Now in 31 equal, we have a major second which is a little bit sharper than usual. It's about 232 cents right here. You can basically stack it over and over and over until you hit the octave, and that is what Mothra 6 is. Now, in terms of the vibe, I think of Mothra 6 as very smooth and dreamy, sort of creamy, hazy, foggy, warbly. It's very vague, it's often directionless, and you can think of it as almost like a fuzzy or cloudy major 7 kind of sound. So to build the bass form, we just take a root, we take a semi-sharp 2, or an up 2, we take the sharp 3rd, We can think of that as the ultra major third. Then we get a perfect fifth. We get the semi sharp six. And now the ultra major seven. Since it has a perfect fifth, there is a perfect fifth between each little piece of the system. If we map Mothra 6 to a fifths wheel, we end up with this pattern. We get a fifth between our root and five, as we talked about before. We get a fifth between our up major second and up major six, as we talked about before. And we get a perfect fifth between our ultra major third and ultra major seventh. Now, in terms of synths, we have zero synths, our root. Now we have our super major second. Now we have our ultra major third. And this can also sometimes be thought of as a down fourth. We have our perfect fifth, our up major six, really pretty sound, and our falling diesis. This is the ultra major seven. You can think of this as like a falling octave, or you can think of this as the ultra major seven. In terms of primodal expression or where it exists in the harmonic series, uh, this is sort of my bass voicing for it. The 28th, here's the 32nd, there's a super major second, here's the 37th, there's our ultra major third, there's our perfect fifth, there's our up major sixth. In terms of its MOS structure, 31 EDO supports the 5L1S machinoid, which basically just means you have a large step, large step, large step, large step, large step, and then a small step. This is called machinoid in temperament agnostic MOS naming. And then in terms of temperament interpretation, uh, you could say this is Slendric or Mothra. Basically the idea is if you take a perfect fifth and then you divide it into roughly three parts, that kind of gives you these different temperament structures. Interestingly, this scale works like a roughly tempered chain of eight sevens. That's what we're stacking when we stack this scale. You can easily interpret this as a tempered chain of seven eights. So if you just stack them up, you basically get our base six note Mothra structure. If you want to extend it, you can keep going up this chain. That gives you the various chord extensions. These work well over the structure. And then if you start to replace existing notes with notes that exist below, that works well as alterations. It's also important to know that 31 has this as a five note pentatonic subset and then as an 11 note superset. The 11 note superset can be thought of as like the chromatic version of the six note bass set. When playing with the extensions and alterations, they tend to contribute more direction because this is a pretty sort of directionless, foggy kind of sound. Also, the later part of the extension chain has the normal major second, the normal major six, which allows you to pivot quite easily between mean tone structures into Mothra. 
So when we talk about Mothra 6, we are actually talking about a cluster of six different basic scales. Now, the one that we learned earlier is the base form. That's what we have here, or the prime form. That is the root up to the ultra major third, the fifth, the up six, and the ultra major seven. And here are its respective synths by step to create it. Here is the second mode of this scale. The only difference is now it has a harmonic seven, which is really awesome because now we can play this kind of Mothra sound over something like root five harmonic seven. The third mode of Mothra six is a root, a super major second or up two, that ultra major third again, very familiar, the perfect fifth, the double flat six, or you can think of this as a semi sharp five, so like an up five combination, and then a harmonic seven. You can see that there is this little D assist, this little baby step here between the five and the double flat six. When I'm playing this, I tend to not really think of it as a double flat six. I tend to think of it as a five that has this sparkly little shimmer right here. So you can use this mode whenever you're playing something like, you know, a root, a perfect fifth, and then you're playing the harmonic seven, really common shape, and you want to add this like shimmer. The fourth mode of Mothra 6 is root, super major second again, ultra major third again, now this time perfect fourth, and now you have this double flat six or the semi sharp five. At this point I tend to think of it as semi sharp five, and then you get the harmonic seven on top. In terms of sense, now we have the 503 instead of the perfect fifth that we had before. The fifth mode of Mothra 6 is this lovely little root, super major second, sub minor third, perfect fourth, double flat six semi sharp fifth and the harmonic seven so now we have an entire sub minor seven chord a sub minor seven chord with an 11th which is really really useful this means that you can use this scale to sort of improvise around sub minor chords very easily you'll see there's the root the sub minor third the sub minor seven and there's our 11 however we have this semi sharp five so if you're playing a sub minor chord and you want to make it shimmer, you can easily just lean the fifth upwards and you're evoking Mothra 6, this particular mode, and then you can even lean this the second up as well to get this semi sharp 9 on your chord. And lastly, the sixth mode of Mothra 6 is a root, this is really cool, a double flat second. This is the little baby deesis step above your root. So you can almost think of this as like a little baby sharp root. And then the sub minor third. And then the perfect fourth. And then the double flat six again, which is also like a tiny little baby sharp fifth, if you think about it. And then the sub minor seventh or the harmonic seven. This is such a useful scale. This basically justifies any deesis root action. And then if we look at the sense, we can see once again, our little D assist is right there. You're basically shifting around a little baby D assist. So here's your little baby step right here. And then the next mode, the baby step is between these two notes. The next one, your baby step is between these two, then between these two, and then between these two, and then between these two. So this is the sort of modal chain and the modal hierarchy that we're looking for. There is an argument to be made that when you start to get into these modes below this line, you might want to inharmonically respell these double flat sixes as semi sharp fifths because it really makes the entire picture of the mode a lot clearer. 
if you take an inventory of all the unique intervals that came out of this matrix process, you basically get 11. You get a root, you get two variations of your little second, right? You either get the super major second or you get the little baby second. You get the ultra major third or the sub minor third. You get the fifth or the fourth. You get the super major sixth or the double flat six or little baby fifth. And then you get the ultra major seven or the harmonic seven. When you take all of these and you put them in a scale, that makes Mothra 11, which is the superset. This is the chromatic scale version of our six note Mothra. Thanks for listening as always. I hope you enjoyed the sounds of Mothra 6. It's a really beautiful and inspiring scale to play with. It has really changed the way that I think and the way that I value hexatonic scales. I think of Mothra as one of the base tonal and sonic universes that exists inside of 31. So if you're going to play around in 31, definitely explore Mothra. It comes in handy.